Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Play Some Chess. Just eight. I think I think playing a very thinky game right after a big lunch is a bad idea. Can't even figure out what position to put my chair in. And you want me to you want me to try to control the center on the 64 squares of doom? I don't think so. Um, anyway, we are gonna try though. Um, here we go. Did well last time. We're playing the black pieces this time. Petite couple Polish. Against e4, we play the Karo Khan. I want to play the Dutch defense as uh, international master Levi Rossman had me learn. However, we can't to e4. It's it, You play C, uh, f5 first in that case. So I'm just I'm running it through and I'm like, obviously we can't really do this. So what do we do instead? I'm going to try g6. The idea being we could develop our bishop here. Um, which What's the purpose of that? I don't know. Preparing for a closed game, I suppose. <laughs> don't really have a great answer for you, but uh, here we are. <laughs> what it also allows us to do, now that I think about it, is at some point we can push that. We could push e4 and try to bust this open, or maybe we don't care to bust this open. This is the Karo Khan defense, the Gurganids system, which I'm sure you uh, are familiar with. You don't need me to tell you how that goes. Um, I really don't think we want to capture. I think capturing is bad for us. I don't really know what we want to do, but I do know that we don't really want to capture. I think we probably want to push... I guess another way that we could have opened this is something like that. I get like our game plan is kind of at some point to push c4. So yeah, we, we probably should have accepted that that was uh, advisable. Um, I'm just running it. This is taking too long. But what if I do this and they do that? How do we respond? Yeah, if you if you can't come up with an answer quickly, I think we don't like it. Let's maybe because uh, I, I think that they're angry. It's hard to tell, but I feel like maybe there this is a castle queen side situation uh, for for white. We'll see. Can I tell you? It's it's a little spicy, but I don't mind the trade. I'm I'm an over trader. I think we're all familiar with that. But now I'm gonna start to I'm gonna start to play my game. How do I play my game? Put my pressure on a little bit, like so. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, it's, it's a little tummy time. time. Little tummy time. How about that? So it's an interesting move for me. I'm not sure if I consider it great. But hear me out. We can take this pawn now. I worry about the response. Um, Like, if we take... What if he then goes here? We can't go here. We can go here, but then that leaves us open to the fork. But then if he forks, we would just take his knight. I think I think we have to take. I think it's just it's a little something called science. If he moves the knight anywhere else, am I dumb? Am I dumb? <laughs> I feel like we just capture it. So I, I see where he's going with this. Like that move is strong for him. Don't get me wrong. It's a good one. But... I also feel like... Uh, so I like my queen here, although we have to move it at some point. Um, if I go here, he won't go here. It leaves us with a discovered attack. He'll go here instead. What do we do from that point onwards? I feel like we can go here, put him in check. He's got to do something. I don't, let, let's do it. Like we, we, I don't want to put ourselves in a horrible clock situation. I feel like he's over leveraged. I'm a little concerned about knight to here, which is obviously a fork. I think, like, here's the thing, okay? He can't really do this. Because if he does this, 
I merely capture the night. Oh, no, I don't because it's protected. Like, he's, he's, I wouldn't say tunnel visioning, but <laughs> he clearly really likes this move, okay? Which is fine. I don't, you know, I, I get it. I'm hip. I'm with it. Now, I'm just thinking, like, we go here. What's he likely to do? Probably most likely you're looking at, like, uh, I don't know. You know, I, I think this is a situation where we do this. Let's just put it that way. We want to put some protection on the fork. Um, we definitely want a kingside castle as soon as possible. We've come out of this with an advantage. Like, look at that king. And we want to put some pressure on. And there, there are some forcing moves. Like, this is a forcing move. Although, after he moves again, probably to uh, E1, uh, it, it kind of... I wouldn't say it leaves us out of forcing moves. But it puts us in a position where we're a little bit less comfortable with it. I bet there's a way, some point in the future, we could maybe put pressure on this and this simultaneously. <clears throat> I like my position more. He can't take, like, or he can't check, I should say. We, we win a piece in the, in the exchange. The leverage that he has right now is that, like, my queen side is insanely open. But the secondary leverage that he has is um, that my bishop is, like, overextended. So if he could find a way to get the bishop out of here, he'd probably be pretty stoked. I don't know. It's, this is a weird one. It's not, like, it's not over. But I feel like he gave up a lot more than we did. We do have to watch the back rank, mate. You know, at some point, if he could get his rook down here protected, there's a chance it could cause problems. Although, now that I think about it, I'm like, I got this rook. The queen's covering that spot. And, you know, we're two moves away from castling. So, okay. Interesting. He wants to capture this. So his whole, <laughs> his whole raison d'etre at this point is just trying to... Um, put his, he, he wants the, the fork, basically. Um, which is fine. Like, why wouldn't you? Um, I suppose we could definitely put him in check again. I don't know how he would respond. We still have coverage of this square. We don't have coverage of this square anymore, but... Certainly feels to me like we get some tempo out of this. And he's it, it really forces his hand. Like, are you a bad enough dude to do this? If not, then we, we're going to have some, some words, right? He actually, the madman actually did it. So now I'm like, okay, we put you here. <laughs> and then it, like, it gets risky, but he comes down here. And then I'm like, okay, where do I go from there? Remember, the goal is not, no, he can't go. Is that mate? It's not mate. He goes there. At which point, like, we go here. And it's more pressure on this. I, I, like, I think... I think we do do this. It's so spicy. Don't get me wrong. But, like, would you rather be me or him right now? I would rather be me. He, he can't move here. His only move is here. And there's a number of different ways we could play this. Like, one way is just that. Where he literally can't move his knight. Another way would just be the check. I don't think I like the check. Why? Because okay, it, it, he's not going to take it. I, I prefer the idea that he actually cannot move his knight here. And we're just going to stack up some pressure there. He's got to move his king like again. The check is no good right here because I think he just takes. And then he gets some tempo. I think I prefer this. And you might be like, why not castle? Well, the castle doesn't put the rook where I want it. It puts it on c8. And then on top of that, we can't. Because it would leave our king... Maybe, actually, now that I think about it, I need to look up the rules of castling. Our king doesn't move through check to castle, but the rook does. But rooks can't be put in check. <laughs> Either way, there's another reason we don't want to do it. Uh, everything here is, like, completely wide open. Okay, so like you knew something like this was going to happen. And then the next move is like, okay, we're going to go back to the original, right? Like we're going to put you in check again. Uh, at which point, you know, what are you going to do? You might trade. We're only up a pawn, but like your, your position's kind of destroyed. All right, let's go check. Let, let's force his hand a little. I still think, by the way, we could lose this. We're not up by a ton. We're up by a little bit. 
The best move for him here might be just to like trade queens. Oh, he's back. <laughs> um, and now our bishop's under attack. Oh, dude, I think I actually made like a... I think I made a oopsie whoopsie there. So now let's think about this. So like, or not our bishop, sorry, our queen's under attack. We could force a queen trade. That's something. I don't like it, but it's not zero. Um, we could also put him in check. Not good. We could put him in check. Not good. Not good because of the knight. Um, we have to move. We have to do something with our queen. We could put him in check. Not good. So I actually like in my heart of hearts. I feel like we want to do like this. And if you want to trade, let's trade. This game's about to get stupid. <laughs> like, it's gonna get insanely dumb. I think he then does this, and then this. To which I do this. No, to which I do that. <laughs> no, my rook! I am so dumb, and he's better than me! Okay, um... That's, that's so stupid you have your bishop protecting you. All right. So I'm actually bad. And you're, you're going to... This is one of those games where you just look at it and you go, Did I really throw this hard? And the answer is yes. I got, I got overconfident. I probably did one too many checks and should have gotten some advantage out of it. And instead, I did not. Um, so th this is not good. This is, this is a heavy lunchtime situation. Um... As indicated. So he's trying to trap my bishop. To which I say, no, no, no. He wants to be able to do that. The game's not over yet. I mean, it's chess. It's low-level chess. On a timer. Anything could happen. So, here's what I think. I think you play this. It attacks his bishop. Oh, no, it doesn't. He takes. But then I take. Yeah, okay. It attacks his bishop and his rook at the same time. Try, tries to help us get out of it. Oh, but then he forks me. <laughs> oh, he didn't fork me. Let's go. Fork me? No, fork you. <laughs> and this protects this pawn. This is such a stupid game. We're actually tied. Which makes no sense at all. We have to go. Even if he puts me in... We don't have to go there. But we, we really want our rook to be able to get out. You know what? I think we go freaking here, dude. It's so dumb. <laughs> okay. I can understand why you would feel that way. Um, now, we, we, you know, time is of the essence. Ah, he's just going to take that. That was not a good move. On the other hand... Now his knight's in a weird spot. No, it's not. No, it's not at all. <laughs> we have to be careful of going like here and here. It creates a fork situation right there. Let's force him back a little bit. We should lose this. Like, like everything in my... I mean, we're down a piece. and Like, we're down a piece badly. Like, I, I want to cry a little bit at, at how much I threw away what was otherwise, like, a pretty one game. Um, and to be honest, I mean, with us being essentially, like, in the... Uh, he's, he's fishing for the fork there, obviously. No, that, that's not a good fork. No, actually, it's a great fork. You would think, like, he goes here. Okay, whatever. We take him. Yeah, then he takes us. We can't afford to do that. Um, so we need to put a, we need to put some threats on his pieces. This is the correct response. You're gonna see this as BM. It's really not like th this is a non-winnable game for us uh, at this point. And I, I mean no disrespect to my opponent via the resignation. 
That was uh, it was just really poorly played by me. I don't even. I I'm so scared to look at the report here because I'm pretty sure we had like an eight point advantage and we we threw it away. But this is part of the learning process. We actually had a ten point advantage. No. He had a 10-point advantage. We had a 15.7 accuracy game. We did have a, a about a five, a six-point advantage throughout the game. What the heck happened? Oh, my God. Okay, so it's book. Let's look at the analysis here. Um, still book. Incredible. So we like it. We like it. There's nothing wrong with it. This is where it got questionable, and I think I've made this very questionable move before in the past as well. They like it. They hate it. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's a, it's a huge blunder. They hate that. Okay, so this is one that I was thinking of. This is better. It absolutely forces this, but what do we do following that? After D2, what do you like? That's Because you start to think about mating positions. Obviously, you can't do that because you just get taken or, or taken with the queen. Um... And obviously, you can't just go check. You know, you can't just go check. Um, so what would they like from this point onward? Obviously, we still have to keep some defense of this position up. This They still think white has an advantage in this position. They probably like this next, right? Oh, they hate it. It's a blunder. Ah, okay. They like this move, which admittedly is hard to see just because it's a little atypical. Okay, fair enough. But let's, let's walk it back to what we actually did. We didn't do that. We did... This, okay. Big blunder. White's up by 10 points. <laughs> yeah, because they... No, they're in check. Hold on. They actually like this move. That move is... It cost them 7 points. It, very, very interesting. That's the best move. We're still down here. So this is just a situation where we went in way too hard. I mean, that's that's the analysis here is that we went in way too hard. And then here, like right there, we're up. If we just kept it here, I think everybody could have been happy. But instead, so I, I did that. Not good. Well, not, not horrible, but I mean, it doesn't lose us the game, but not good. What do, what do they prefer? They prefer pawn to e5. That's a, that's a good play and an interesting play. So if we do pawn to e5, for example, they probably have to respond with something like that. No, they, they hate it. Oh, because we're about to put them in a fork. That's right. So they do king to e3 instead. No, it's king to, king to e2. Then we capture. Okay. All right. That, I mean, that would have been better to, to actually get some material out of it. I mean, obviously, that, was just, that game was just a... Uh, bit of a tire fire um which is fine i mean it was fun and we we learned a little bit about the the complicated mid game position there that we had created it was a very tactical game and hopefully we learned something again i apologize levy my opponents have have no oh, bro so what i know what you're doing you're gonna try to hit me with the the scholars mate right so you I go here and then you go here and then you try to develop this bishop like to here. Um I don't know the best way out of scholars mate now. Um but I'm assuming uh this is pretty okay cuz it blocks off the diagonal and then you just follow it up with knight to f6 and and now you've got like a very standard position. That seems right. At any point, we could threaten. Uh, you're just gonna say we could threaten to, to hurt the queen and force them to make a move that, in my opinion, loses them tempo. And then I think we should push for control of the center because we have the e pawn that has not moved yet. And uh, I think I think we're in a very advantageous position, quite frankly. Definitely, I don't I don't dislike this. They're gonna castle queenside. It's not fair to say, like, castling queenside is a meme. But it's definitely not that strong. Now I'm like, dude, to be honest, I think we just push you back. It's aggressive. Some people might even call it over-aggressive.
but it's also kind of fun. <laughs> and now you start to think about something like this, right? So they take, I take with the bishop, we get some tempo out of it. What do they do after that? The queen pretty much is, is forced to move here or here. Well, no, it won't move there. It'll move here. Then we do this. And what do you do? I also like to live dangerously. This is unprotected, I'll admit. But we're, we're escalating danger. And this is like, don't even speak to me about this area. It's, it's, it's bad. Then they take this pawn. Okay, so this was not like a great play. <laughs> Unless... Yeah, it turns out I don't really like this, actually. Um, here's what I do like. I like this. And if you want to trade for the pawn, I think we accept that. Things are getting spicy. I think, I think we fell into a gambit, to be honest. We have to do something here. I don't think we take. I think we protect. And then you probably take. If you don't take, I definitely do that. Kind of had a feeling it was. And then we can't even protect this. Dude, like I'm, I'm fricked. <laughs> How am I losing the scholars, mate? I'm down two pawns. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We do have some, some piece development. Some pièce development, if you will. I don't have any analysis for this game, for the record. <laughs> if you're waiting, if you're waiting for analysis, you're going to be waiting a long time. What I will tell you is, this move at some point becomes very powerful. If not now, at at some point fairly soon. This knight obviously is a problem here. Let's walk through where you're going. You don't like that because it's slow. You could always go there. They do like it. Even though it's slow. Alright, we... Have to put... We can't move this yet, though. We have to put some pressure on them. Uh, like, you might like this. Yeah, it's not bad. It forces the queenside castle. But I really... <laughs> I really... Want to... Um, get my queen out in queenside castle myself, even though it's friggin' destroyed here. I think we like this. And no matter what, we're still getting a decent diagonal. If they castle, like, we still have a, a, a pin and a potential discovered check, and, you know, you get the idea. This is like they're playing a very good tactical game. Let me let me leave it at that. You might say, why not go here? Well, it's overprotected. This is is we at least we're putting a threat on this piece. Maybe forcing it out of the way. Maybe we get some tempo back by doing that. I don't know. Okay. Look at that. Who would have thought? <laughs> now, I almost can't believe it, but we at least have castled. It's not good, for the record. Uh, for any number of reasons. Exact, because their, their next plan is to castle. So what what is the most vulnerable 
part of the enemy board. It's going to be the queen side. I think that they're going to have a little extra leverage on me. But we, we have some plays. So, like, they can't capture with this pawn as a result of our rook. I don't mind. Oh, I miss Clerk! We don't need to go to analysis for that. I know what the problem was. <laughs> I meant to take the knight, and I didn't, and I'm embarrassed. Let's move on. Two losses. It, it hurts. It hurts for sure. Um, especially that one, like, I feel like we had a, we had a genuinely good chance. I'm rattled. I told, dude, we knew right from the get-go, like, this is a lunchtime game. Feeling, uh, feeling lunchy. I, I, I see this, like, pretty often. I don't actually like it, because, like, I don't think your queen being out there is really that good. Like, I don't think it puts you at an advantage at all to have your queen out there. Now, we don't want to just capture, because then they take us, we can't castle. Um, That's not the right piece. That now that would be a heck of a misclick if they let it happen. <laughs> this has not been the best performance we've ever had. Unless I think we castle. Do ever people love castle and queenside now, huh? So normally, I probably wouldn't consider this that. I, I kind of like white's or black's position better, believe it or not. Um, I guess my question is, do you think they're going to completely push? If they're going to go for the complete push, then maybe I don't mind it so much. Are you still going to cancel queenside like this? I don't know. Like, what's this attack for? You're going to get a pawn promoted eventually? I don't know if I see it. I was hoping, believe it or not, I was hoping you would do something like that. Now I feel like we get a lot of value out of something as simple as this. If you push it one more, I mean, you can do it. But I don't, I don't really think I mind it too much. You know, it's going to be hard for you to protect that pawn. Or, I mean, I guess you could just move your pawn further up. But again, like, it, you have a ton of space control on the queen side. But how are you ever going to get in? I guess via this knight, huh? Okay, well, that's, you know, agree to disagree. <laughs> Here's where I'm at right now. I'm like, why can't we just push this? You try and, like, for that, maybe? This is it's a complicated situation. I think they did that to Castle. I think that's what's coming next. I'm just going to be straight up with you. I don't think you have the sack to take this with your queen. So that'll be a pawn capture. If you take it with your queen, I would be stunned. It's a big move. I, you, I feel bad as well, Andre Koufax, by the way, because I'm hungry. I'm at, I'm at 0-2 in this game. You knew the pawn was coming, okay? So what comes next? I don't know if I like that move. It does force a move back. Do I think it's that strong? Maybe yes, maybe no. What do I Do I like this, though? 
I do kind of like this, because they're not going to go here. They're not going to go here. They're not going to go here. They might go here, but I think they'll probably go here, at which point then we push, and what are they going to do with this bishop? Let's try it, dude. Let's get weird. I'm, I'm playing on emotion now. I really don't want to go 03 in a video. It's supposed to be the road to, to 1600, not the road to 1400. But we should probably, probably be thinking what happens if they go here, which I think is their best move. Again, here is bad because we just do that. I didn't even think about what this meant. Because um. <laughs> now I'm like, I, I think this is good. Like, I think if I go here, you're not going to take. Um, instead, you will maybe move back, but probably move here. At which point we still do this. Get you off. Maybe get this starting to go in here. But we could also push that at any given moment. And ruin your castle, at least. And then have open files in the center. So, unless I'm missing something, I think that this keeps some pressure on you for sure. So, you fell backwards. At which point... Like, I really... You've got to do something to respond to this. If you take here, you won't. That's just bad. Um... So you have to do something to respond to this. You have to move the bishop because even if you do that for a reinforce, I'm just going to I'm just going to take it. But now you wait, you can't move the bishop because it's pinned to the queen. So I'm almost like she's got to move the queen again. <laughs> or you know, they've got to move the queen again. I think because they're moving the queen so much, I'm like I'm playing against the lady. It's not to say that ladies move the queen. It's just because I've been saying the word queen so much is primed my brain to okay, I apologize. Go go, go ahead. Okay, cancel me. Okay, well, we, we have now gotten a piece. But do we want the piece or do we want the whole thing? Almost a misclick. <laughs> now, usually, you'll just accept the trade. What wouldn't surprise me is if they now try to, like, threaten one of my pieces to be like, I'm going to get the bishop out of this, and then we just take that, and then we... You know, we've, we've already banked the knight that we took a second ago. In fact, it actually gets, like, worse for them if they do that. Because then I take, they take, I take, and now we've got their queen under threat. That they got to do something with. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> And there's even, like, there's there's funky plays, too, because, like, depending on the way you do this, like, if I... I could still just move the pawn up, and now you've just created, like, the exact same situation, if you know what I mean. Like... I, I have to consider my options here. Um, like, why wouldn't I just put you in check? I think they got too clever. They should have just taken the trade. Now it's like, well, you got to move your king. There's no options. And now, like, okay, now I've got you forked. Like, this is a pretty good example of just, like, sometimes it's better to just accept the the blunder you made than, than double down. I know I'm not, like, the right guy to be lecturing you on that. There you go. Okay, so we at least, we got some, <laughs> we got some measure of, of confidence back from the final game where I actually think we played pretty well. Um, let, let's see how things go here. I, I think they, I really don't like, and maybe I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about, maybe. But I really don't like these openings that, uh, like from the, the black piece position, from their perspective. I don't like the openings that like develop the queen into the center so early. You might think that it's great. And again, I could be way wrong. You might think that it's great because of the fact that like the queen's out here. But it, it makes it such an easy um, target to attack. Like when the queen's out in the center early. They do consider the uh, white to, or black to have a small advantage here, but still, like it just it, it feels like it's so easy to put it under attack. Okay, let's let's see how the analysis feels about this. They uh, d4 best move. Now we're even. They like it, even. Slight advantage. 
Big disadvantage. They like the, the c4 capture. I don't really like it because it helps get this bishop out. But I, I you know, I, I'm not disagreeing with the engine. Um, I guess that makes sense. But I, I kind of liked keeping this bishop closed in. Even. Even, basically. Okay, now this is where I think maybe it started to go wrong. They do like it, but we've started to claw back a little. They love that move. I loved it too. And then this is where I was like, okay, we now have a, a good position in my world. So w things start, uh, yeah, we, we, we left e4 for later, but we're up by half a pawn. Incredibly questionable move. So I, I can tell you their reasoning. Their reasoning here, they want to castle king side, and that would be great because it would get their king, you know, safe from danger. The queen side is totally screwed up. So they're like, where's the best place to develop it? Ah, it doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Can't. Can't. You know, this spot right here, this is a nice spot. You know, it's kind of like sequestered in here. And if they push this, then I, you know, I've got more pressure on this and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it ends up being bad just because of what develops after it, I think. We capture. They like our position still. E4, they still think is better. They capture back. We're still in a gray spot. How did we respond to this? I think we did bishop to A4. No, then finally we did E4. Considered the best move. Then, I... The best move was, interestingly enough, them falling back, which is funny because I think then we do this. No. We would do that instead. Okay, so actually that was not a bad move for them um, to just move backwards, but that's not what they did. They moved here. Very questionable. Um, to which I think at this point we responded bishop to a4, which they don't like either. <laughs> but it still it leaves us a piece up and they go what yeah see we thought they would move there at which point let's see how this would have played out if, if they moved here and then i did this they still they don't like that why i wonder if it's just that no because i i mean what i was thinking is i take this and then this is off yeah okay they, sure fair enough um but like okay let's say i make a3 what do they do what do they just do that yeah, okay. It still leaves us with an advantage, and then we just do that, I'm assuming. Nope, bishop to d2. Okay, uh, clearly, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, they did um, they did that. I did this. Questionable. The questionable. As long as you uh, have... Is it, when you blunder, as long as you respond to your opponent's blunders with blunders, and they blunder after that, then you're good, right? Okay, what do we do after this? I think finally we did rook to b1. Great move. So what do you okay so you had to get it out there but they're like please castle your queen's in danger um whoops because i mean or your king's in danger i should say the thing is basically at this point what's going through their head i don't want to lose the bishop how do i not lose the bishop i gotta move my queen so that uh i can move the bishop next turn if i do this fair enough that's the like astute reasoning the problem is this bishop's already gone so you the instead of and I don't, I don't think I would have seen this either, quite frankly. But um, they want you to castle kingside so you only lose the bishop at this point. I think. So that's like, what are you doing? And then, what, what, what are you doing? <laughs> well, no, okay, so hear me out. We captured this so that when they took, we would then take this. But wait, that's not considered the best move here. Okay, what is, e5 is considered the best move. Or sorry, d5. d5 is considered the best move. It's another way to force this piece off, for sure. I don't know what their response from here would be. I would think, believe it or not, that their response would be something like this. No, they like rook to d8. Ah, so that like take, take, and then I got to do something with my queen to respond. Translate to English, please. Um, all right, interesting. I didn't really see it, but that's not how it went down. We took... This is like, this is where the, the game is saying, for the love of God, uh, please just accept that this bishop is gone. So we took, they took, and then it's just, they like that move a lot. What are you doing? They like this move decently. Okay, I guess. And then they surrendered. Anyway, it was a fun one. Um, pretty quick. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!